Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are fit and fine. Well, I am Satinder Kaur and today I will be taking up lesson 8 of geography for class 7. And the name of the lesson is Human Environment Interactions, the Tropical and the Subtropical Region. Children, people live in different regions of the world. Some live in dry deserts, some live in frozen lands, some live in plains, while some others live in plateaus. The life and culture of people varies in different natural regions of the world. In this lesson, we shall take a look at the life of people in two different natural regions, that is, tropical region and subtropical region. So, let's first move to the Amazon basin and see what kind of life people live there? Before learning about the Amazon Basin, let us look at this map. Children, notice that the tropical region lies very close to the equator between 10 degree north and 10 degree south. So, it is referred to as the equatorial region, the river Amazon flows through this region. Do you know children, when Spanish explorers discovered the Amazon River, they were attacked by a group of local tribes wearing headgears and grass skirts. These people reminded them of the fierce tribes of women warriors known in ancient Roman Empire as the Amazons. Hence the name Amazon. Children, Notice how the river flows from the mountains to the west and reaches the Atlantic Ocean to the east. The place where a river flows into another body of water is called the river's mouth. Numerous tributaries join the Amazon River to form the Amazon Basin. Children, tributaries are small rivers that join the main river. The main river along with all its tributaries that drain an area forms a river basin or the catchment area. The Amazon Basin is the largest river basin in the world. The river basin drains portions of Brazil, parts of Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia and a small part of Venezuela. Children. Can you name the countries of the base through which the equator passes? Now, let's move further and talk about the climate of the region. As you now know, the Amazon basin stretches directly on the equator and is characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year. Both day and nights are almost equally hot and humid. The skin feels sticky. It rains almost every day. That too without much warning. The day temperatures are high with very high humidity. At night, the temperature goes down but the humidity remains high. As it rains heavily in this region, thick forests grow. The forests are in fact so thick that the dense roof created by leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground. The ground remains dark and damp. Only shade-tolerant vegetation may grow here. Orchids, bromeliads grow as plant parasites. Children, do you know bromeliads are special plants that store water in their leaves? Animals like frogs use these pockets of water for laying their eggs. The rainforest is rich in fauna. Birds such as toucans, hummingbirds, birds of paradise with their brilliantly colored plumage, oversized bills for eating make them different from birds we commonly see in India. These birds also make loud sounds in the forest. Animals like monkeys, sloth and and eating tapirs are found here. Various species of reptiles and snakes also thrive in these jungles. Crocodiles, 
snakes, pythons abound here. Anaconda and boa constrictor are some of the species. Besides, the basin is home to thousands of species of insects. Several species of fishes including the flesh-eating Parhana fish is also found in the river. This basin is thus extraordinarily rich in the variety of life found here. People of the rainforest grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest. While men hunt and fish along the rivers, women take care of the crops. They mainly grow tapioca, pineapple and sweet potato. As hunting and fishing are uncertain, it is the women who keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow. They practice slash and burn agriculture. Children, slash and burn is a way of cultivating land where farmers clear a piece of land by slashing or cutting down the trees and bushes. These are then burnt which releases the nutrients into the soil. Now crops are grown in this cleared field for a few years. After repeatedly using the patch of land, the soil loses its nutrients, so it is abundant. Then they clear another plot of land to plant. In the meantime, young trees grow in the old field. In this way, soil fertility is restored. People can then return to it and start cultivating it again. The staple food in this region is manioc, also known as cassava that grows under the ground like the potato. They also eat queen ants and egg sacs. Cash crops like coffee, maize and cocoa are also grown. The rainforests provide a lot of wood for the houses. Some families live in thatched houses shaped like beehives. There are other large apartment like houses called maloka with a steeply slanting roof. Life of the people of the Amazon Basin is slowly changing. In the older days, the heart of the forest could be reached only by navigating the river. In 1970, the Trans-Amazon Highway made all parts of the rainforest accessible. Aircrafts and helicopters are also used for reaching various places. The indigenous population was pushed out from the area and forced to settle in new areas where they continue to practice their distinctive way of farming. The developmental activities are leading to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest. It is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has been disappearing annually in the Amazon basin. You can see that this destruction of forests has a much wider implication. The topsoil is washed away as the rain falls and the lush forest turns into a barren landscape. So children, that was all about the life of people in the Amazon Basin. Now we'll move further and talk about life in the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. The tributaries of rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra together form the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin in the Indian subcontinent. The basin lies in the subtropical region that is situated between 10 degree north to 30 degree north latitudes. The tributaries of the river Ganga like the Ghagra, the Son, the Chambal, the Gandhak, the Kosi and the tributaries of Brahmaputra drain it. Look at the atlas and find names of some tributaries of the river Brahmaputra. I'm sure you'll be able to do that. The plains of the Ganga and the Brahmaputra, the mountains and the foothills of the Himalayas and the Sundarban Delta are the main features of this basin. Oxbow lakes dot the plain area. The area is dominated by monsoon climate. The monsoon brings rains from mid-June to mid-September. The summers are hot and the winters are 
school children look at the map of india and find out the states in which the ganga brahmaputra basin lies i'm sure you'll be able to do that the basin area has varied topography the environment plays a dominant role in the distribution of the population the mountain areas with steep slopes have inhospitable terrain therefore less number of people live in the mountain area of the ganga brahmaputra basin the plain area provides the most suitable land for human habitation the soil is fertile agriculture is the main occupation of the people where flat land is available to grow crops children population density means the number of persons that live in one square kilometer of area for example the population density of uttarakhand is 189 while the density of west bengal is 1029 and that of bihar is 1102 the main crop here is paddy since cultivation of paddy requires sufficient water it is grown in the areas where the amount of rainfall is high wheat maize sorghum gram and millets are the other crops that are grown cash crops like sugarcane and jute are also grown banana plantations are seen in some areas of the plain in west bengal and assam tea is grown in plantations silk is produced through the cultivation of silk worms in parts of bihar and assam in the mountains and hills where the slopes are gentle crops are grown on terraces the vegetation cover of the area varies according to the type of landforms in the ganga and brahmaputra plain tropical deciduous trees grow along with teak sal and people thick bamboo groves are common in the brahmaputra plain the delta area is covered with the mangrove forest in parts of uttarakhand sikkim and arunachal pradesh coniferous trees like pine deodar and fir can be seen because the climate is cool and the slopes are steep there is a variety of wildlife in the basin elephants tigers deer and monkeys are very common the one horned rhinoceros is found in the brahmaputra plain in the delta area bengal tiger crocodiles and alligators are found aquatic life abounds in the fresh river waters the lakes and the bay of bengal sea the most popular varieties of the fish are the rohu katla and hilsa fish and rice is the staple diet of the people living in the area the ganga brahmaputra plain has several big towns and cities the cities of allahabad kanpur varanasi lucknow patna and kolkata all with the population of more than 10 lakhs are located along the river ganga the waste water from these towns and industries is discharged into the rivers this leads to the pollution of the rivers all the four ways of transport are well developed in the ganga brahmaputra basin in the plain areas the roadways and railways transport the people from one place to another the waterways is an effective means of transport particularly along the rivers kolkata is an important port on the river hugli The plain area also has a large number of airports. Tourism is another important activity of the basin. Taj Mahal on the banks of River Yamuna in Agra, Allahabad on the confluence of the rivers Ganga and Yamuna, Buddhist stupas in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, Lucknow with its Imam Bada, Assam with Kazi Ranga. and manas with wildlife sanctuaries and arunachal pradesh with a distinct tribal culture are some of the places worth a visit so children with this we come to the end of today's lesson and it's time for us to take up a few questions to see 
how much you have understood. Ready? First, we have some questions with options and you have to choose the correct option. Here is the first question for you. Tokens are a type of and the options are birds, animals or crops. And the correct option is yes, birds. The second question is manioc is the staple food of and the options are Ganga Basin, Africa or Amazon. And the correct option is yes, Amazon. The next question is Kolkata is located on the river and your options are Orange, Hooghly or Bhagirathi. And the correct option is Yes, Hooghly. Very good. Now let's take up the fourth question. Deodas and firs are a type of and your options are Coniferous trees, deciduous trees or shrubs. And the correct option is, yes, coniferous trees. Now the last question, Bengal tiger is found in, and your options are, mountains, delta area or Amazon. And the correct option is, delta area. Good. Now let's move further and match these columns. First we have, cotton textile and we match it with Varanasi. Very good. Next we have Maloka which means apartments with slanting roof. Very good. Then we have Parana which is a kind of fish. Next is silkworm and you know children silkworm rearing is called Sericulture. Next we have Kaziranga, which is where? In Assam. Very good. So children, with this we come to the end of today's video. I'm sure you liked it and got to know a great deal about the life of people in the tropical and subtropical regions. You also learnt about the climate, vegetation and wildlife of these regions. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more interesting videos. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy.